basically give us the Shorshim and their translations. Okay, the first one. Be Berech. Very nice. Bless. Good. Next. The sec second one. Shamar. To God. Very nice. To God. Good. Good. Guard. Right. Ur. Ur. That's right. Shine. Nice. Yes. Hanan. Show Beautiful. Favor. Show favor. Nasha. So let me give you a, a little bit of help on this one. I apologize. Um, let me see. Right. Oh no, 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 I'm sorry. It was it was right the first time. Um it's it's um it's the nine. Here we go. Let's try it once more. Nasat. There you go. Very nice. Lift up. Good. So we have the um, the Shorshim identified in red in the verses. And these are the verses that you rightly identified in the learners group from uh, chapter 6 of... Um, now I've forgotten what, what, what chapter it is. Numbers chapter 6. Do you recognize the Shorish in the first line, Joseph? Yes. Okay. So we have which Shorish uh, represented in line nine? Baracha. Very good, Barach. So we've turned it into a, um, a noun. Barach, the Shorish, has become Birkat. So it's, it's the blessing of, and this is that, that tav that we've been discussing that creates a, a, um, a compound with the next word, connects to the next word, birkat hakoanim, blessings of the kohanim, the kahani. How about in the next line? Do you see it, the shoresh again there? Yes. The first one okay, is with bara, yeah. bare, bare. Right, right. And how about in the second word? We have the shamar. So we have the barach in a special form, and we have the shamar in a special form. And this is the the wonder and the magic of Hebrew that we take these roots and we transform them into nouns, things, and into uh, different kinds of verbs, into different uh, tenses, plurals, and singulars. But we basically have our Shurash Barach and we have our Shurash Shamar. And finally, in the last verse, we have a new idea where our three-letter Shoresh has been reduced to only two letters, but we actually recognize the Shoresh Ur with the Aleph and the Resh, but the Vav has, has left us. I didn't give you this Shoresh, but this is another instance of a three-letter Shoresh that becomes reduced to two. So we'll, we'll continue to discover how these Shoreshim work but Gideon, could you give us the, the recitation now of the Hebrew uh, 
Hebrew verse, the first Hebrew verse of the priestly blessing. Okay. And Joseph, you could could you kindly mute Joseph because you have quite a bit of background today. Okay. Get in kindly. Okay. Yevare. Nice. Okay. Finish it. Exactly right. Chicha. It's a little tough. Chicha. Okay. Yep. Try, try it once more. You did a very good job. Put it all together. Yivare. Yivare. Chicha. Mm -hmm. Chicha. Beautiful. Nice. Congratulations on that one. Next. Elohim. This is. There you go. Veyi. Veyishe. 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 Merei. Yeah, Nice. So you can close this syllable, veish. Veish merecha. Beautiful. You want to put it all together? Yivarechacha hash adar Elohim veish merecha. Mm-hmm. Give it a try. The whole phrase. Yivarechacha. Elohim, veim, veim, veish, merecha. Beautiful. Well done, veish, merecha. Okay, let's give Joseph a chance on the second one. Kindly, Joseph. Yes. Yatser. Ah, what what letter? What is this letter? The second letter. Yeah, uh, Yes, Aleph. <laughs> yeah, er. right. There you go. This is a, our name, a name of God. Mm -hmm. Yahweh. Very good. <coughs> Pa. This is our. It should be a pay. Forgive me. I I need to add a uh, a dagesh in there. Panam. Right. Let me hear the vav at the end. Panav. Panav. Very nice. Continue. <laughs> Beautiful. V. Dikmecha. Dikmecha. Beautiful, Joseph. You want to try the whole thing once more? Listen to your, listen to me. Ya'er, Yawa panav ilecha vichunecha. Actually, actually, this is vichunecha. Give it a try, Ya'er. Ya'er, Yahweh, Panav, Ein, Eilech, Eilecha. Very nice. V. Vinu, Vichuneika. Well done. Excellent work. Excellent work. Okay, Joseph, go ahead and mute once more, and Gideon, you give yes. us the last, the last verse, please. <clears throat> okay. Isa, Elohim, Panav, Panan. No, you had it right Ele the first time. Panav, you were right the first Panav, time. Panav, Eleha, Veyasem. Beautiful. Lecha Shalom. Well done. Wow. Wow. That is some nice Hebrew reading, guys. I I apologize for not being able to admit Louisa. I, I will apologize to her also uh, privately. I just wanted to make sure that we're all together. But beautiful work, Ezron. I wish Hezron was with us. I think he must have had uh, some network issue. Ezron, you've advanced now. 
uh, through Vav, yeah, and we'll give you additional drill in coming lessons. Uh, you should be able to enjoy your drill very much. We won't introduce new lessons uh, in next class, but simply give you give you more chances to review these new letters. So, well done. Thank you again for your, your dedication to the class. Okay, thank you. You're right. Maria, thank you again for, for the role you're playing now in leading uh, the first part of the class all the time. It's invaluable to us. You're welcome. And, 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 and Joseph and Gideon, sometimes it's kind of like weightlifting, bodybuilding. When we're involved in it day to day, we, we, don't, we don't think we're making progress or getting bigger, but others, others see how we're getting bigger. And, and I see just uh, from class to class how your fluency increases and your confidence with the pronunciation uh, improves. You guys are very, very ready to become Walimu, and we'll have to discuss more how that's going to work. Um, thank you very much for a beautiful class. I look forward to our next class, guys. Thank you.